So we've come to meet Connor, he's a free runner, and this location offers a really cool spot for free running. There's lots of high ledges, lots of stair gaps that you can jump across and do somersaults off. And um, yeah, we're gonna see what we can get from this location. There's lots of uh, low vantage points, high vantage points to make the shots look really interesting. Again, I'm gonna be using a 16 to 35 mil lens, so I'm gonna shoot nice and wide. Um, and hopefully, again, looking down um, on Connor or looking up will help create some interesting shots. On this side of the stairs, he's gonna actually run and jump across. Um, and I'm gonna be down there, nice and low, with the steps kind of coming up into the frame. And then we've got the church behind us, so we want the church tower um, to really come up as well. That's why I'm shooting quite wide, help tell the story. And again, Connor's going to look kind of small in the frame, but I think that would work well. It's going to really emphasize this gap. You know, it's a big gap. Um, what you say? It's a good 10 foot, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so, you know, this is a fair size gap. And uh, yeah, I really want to you know, portray that and tell it in the story. Um, so yeah, we've got the sun coming from this side, so that's nice on Connor. Um, so again, the settings, pretty fast. Uh, wide open at f4. Um, I'm probably getting about uh, 1 300th, 1 600th of a second. ISO is right down now. I'm only on 250 ISO and uh, we'll see how that looks. But yeah, this should be pretty, pretty, pretty easy, but a pretty cool shot. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's a nice like stride in the air. No, that's cool. I, I quite like it because your feet are like really far apart. It's nice. So here I'm going to be using one single focus point because Connor's moving from left to right. It's very hard to suddenly get Connor come into frame and lock focus. So I'm going to lock it onto the wall. That's kind of his focal plane. And I'm going to be using high shutter speed. Um, so in order to get continuous frames throughout, so I can then pick the right one with Connor. So I'm going to change things up. I was in the corner there, I'm going to come round um, and again have the stairs looking a bit more symmetrical with the church off to one side. This will then allow Connor to come through into the middle of the frame a little bit um, sort of unobtrusive by this uh, light that's in the background and it'll, again it'll, it really emphasise the gap. Yeah. Hey Connor. Nice. Okay. Now I might do. So we're looking down there. Yeah. yeah to come across this one. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah, cool. All right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Same again. Yeah. So we're going to have Connor doing the same again. I'm gonna go down the second step stairs. Um, again, now we're looking at, not only we've got the 10 foot gap, probably also looking at maybe 10 to 12 foot height distance on there as well. So again, it's gonna make it the shot seem even more impressive. Um, and again, I'm probably gonna shoot again straight up, just keeping everything symmetrical. I may go off to one side, but I don't know, I'm gonna have to take a look now. Pretty good. I really like how he is in frame. He's just in this two corner. I quite like the harsh shadows. We've got the steps coming down. We've got the church spires. So it's all there as a complete shot. We've got a nice light here. And we've got the shadows again. So some real, real balance between light and shadows. This is really cool. Connor's up there. Really nice stride. Um, I guess we're going to take it again. It's very difficult this kind of shot to to know where your focus is. You know, I'm kind of focused on the wall, which I think Connor is going to be in that plane of focus, but to really make him sharp, I'm going to take a couple more shots just to make sure we nail it. All right, Connor. Uh, one more, yeah? Yeah, yeah, Is that cool? cool? Nice, nice, nice. Looks sharper. I think I've got this focus right. He's really nice in frame. He's just in this little spot. So yeah, I think that was perfect. We got it. All right, nice. Okay, now, after that shot, we're gonna have Connor go and do uh, an aerial flip off the side. I'm gonna be shooting into the sun. 
So hopefully we get a really cool silhouette of Connor in the air um, when he's into his rotation. Um, it's coming to about six o'clock now, so the sun is starting to get nice and low in the skies. So I reckon this would be quite a cool creative shot. Again, I'm gonna shoot this wide open at um, either F4 or down to five, six. We're not looking for shallow depth of field, um, but it's more to, I can get maximum shutter speed um, to create that silhouette effect. All right, okay, ready? Let's have a go. Yeah. Maybe from here. So I'm looking at composition wise. We've got the sun in the sky. Um, I'm almost going to see if I can get Connor in front of the sun, which would be even better because we'll have that kind of sunburst. Um, and also, I'm looking at how I'm going to position myself with this wall that's coming out that Connor's actually going to jump off. So I want that in the bottom of the frame, off to the left hand side. Connor maybe in the middle, um, up near the sun. And I'm just looking so i'm balancing my exposure so i'm you know you don't want to expose too uh, much and have it blown out but also you don't want to expose too much and have not a lot of detail in the shot at all so i'm just playing with it to match um kind of my settings at the moment i'm in manual so i'm just flicking between shot speeds and, and dropping the iso right down um, and playing around with the apertures Okay, I'll we'll go for that. Okay. It's good, but we need to get closer to the action. I still feel I'm too far away, so I'm gonna move in um, a couple of feet. Okay, I'm actually, um, my f-stop is actually now to f22. Um, so for those who don't know, that's kind of a trick to get the sun to like the sunburst effect. Um, I just think that's going to add a, a really cool um, sort of detail to the shot. Okay, we'll try. Okay, Connor. You right? Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. I took off my foot was right here. You get it on a still, you might see it. You never know. <laughs> looking? looking good. It's still, I still may get down low because I just want to emphasise how you know much Connor is really leaping off into the air. Especially shooting on a wide angle, you're kind of starting to lose, um, you know, a little bit of. Well, let's say it's too, it's too, the wide angle's too wide at the moment. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit and move forward to Connor uh, because Connor's still a little bit lost in frame and I really want to emphasise Connor's actual leap and actually where he go, how high he goes up in the air. Is that right, man? I'm just trying to find this. Yeah. You're kind of, you're kind of good, but I just, you know, you're still... Not quite where you want to Well, it's like, 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 kind of like that. Yeah, okay, I see what you mean. But you don't look... Yeah, I want you down lower, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll have to do it as many times as you need. Yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know if you can see on this screen, but I've uh, just got the shot where Connor is just coming. So he's fully rotated and the sun is just coming behind him. Um, so we've just caught the top of his leg. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, this might work, Connor. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to think like... Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I can do it again if you want. Go through all of them. One more time. Want, and I yeah. might do the whole sequence now. I've got the shot. Yeah. 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 Okay, mate. Pretty good, similar kind of shot. I think I prefer the one before, yeah. but yeah. We've got the whole shot in there anyway. So that was a sequence, but yeah, that was pretty cool. All right, okay, let's look at the next, next kind of shot. Yeah. 
All right, buddy. Pretty good. I've just adjusted my, uh, so I saw on the last one after adjusting the apertures and stuff, my shot speed wasn't quite fast enough. Now, yeah, his feet was a little bit blurred. That may be nice to portray that movement. He's spinning, but I just wanted to make sure I did it again at a slightly higher shot speed. Uh, just made sure that we've actually frozen Connor in time in that flip. That's cool. All right. Oh cool. uh, yeah. Now just think of the framing. Yeah. Uh, but so we got Connor pretty impressively doing a backflip, running up and backflipping off the wall, which is really cool. But I'm trying to think from the photo point of view how we can frame that rather than just a shot of him uh, on the wall. This is gonna be a bit too tight. Um, so I'm just trying to look around and see if we can make it work somewhere. If not, we'll look at doing another little trick. Um, but yeah, no, don't do it if you, uh, well, no, I'm just thinking, I cause that is quite. Yeah, it's not that, I feel like that would be all right. How far I push back off the wall. So if I keep it closer. I mean, apart from this bloody it's just bin. this bit here, yeah. Council didn't think about photographs, did they, when they put that there? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, as long as I keep in tight, it should be. All right. Yeah, well, I'm looking for this kind of framing, yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch, I'm going to switch lenses. I'm going to get the 70 to 200 2 8 on. Um, so we don't need to be wide for Connor. I want to really bring in the foreground and bring in the image to get this tight crop of Connor with this wall that's coming outside of the church um, in between where the gardens are. Right. So we've gone from a, a wide, so we've gone from a 16 to 35, and we've gone now to a 70 to 200 f2.8. So this is your typical sports um, zoom lens. f2.8 lets a lot of light in, makes it a very fast lens. Um, and I'm really, going to use this to hopefully when I zoom in I'm going to probably zoom in quite a lot to try and keep that tight crop we're not looking for ultra wide shot we really want to zoom in um, and keep a tight crop and hopefully I can frame it well that Connor when he does his backflip um, it will make a nice interesting shot okay so we've got the shot I'm going to get quite low to the floor I'm going to accentuate the ground so like the ground leading in um, so that's going to draw your eye into the shot. I'm just going to basically frame it up uh, vertically. So Connor, so I've got the wall coming off the church. I'm going to have Connor um, and coming into the frame. And I'm going to just end it with the other wall that's up by the garden. And I'm just going to focus pretty much on the wall. I just got the edge of the wall there. I'm going to put my focus point there. And um, that should be the spot to get a nice sharp picture. I'm shooting wide open at 2.8. Hopefully there'll be enough then um, separation from the background and it'll really punch in. Hopefully we'll, he'll be nice and, and sharp and shot. So let's see how this goes. Okay, mate. Yeah, cool. That came out really well. Yeah. Really yeah. Oh, yeah. It was nice and sharp. It's really cool. Okay, that was nice. All right, that was good. Yeah, we got that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna change lenses, I'm gonna go wide. 7200 is just a little bit too tight. I'm gonna show more of the scene. That was good, I'm just gonna change lenses. So I'm gonna swap uh, lenses. I'm gonna go back to my 16 to 35, the 7200, even wide open at 70 mil. It's still a little bit tight and Connor's a little bit too far away. So I want to kind of bring him in um, and get more of the scene that's around. And we've got two avenues of trees, we've got the water in the middle, so it's really nice and symmetrical. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change and I'm gonna recompose. 
Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's just a thing. I've got to get low enough because I want you over this acorn. Right, okay. Because before, like with the 7200, you were... Just, just. You were in it. Right, yeah. okay. So, Connor, do you think you can get in there? I'm going to go down a bit more. It's nice, but Connor is just clipping the acorn at the end. So we're just trying to get some separation between them two. You're not quite, your head's just at the top. You all right, Connor? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, I've, I've got so much room at the top. In fact, I could, it's a shame I can't do portrait. Yeah, sorry dude, is that right? Okay, Connor. Like. Oh, that's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I like the reflection. It's further back, you, yeah. you lose the height of you. It's a shame, because obviously this is a really cool avenue of trees, yeah. but. Um, yeah. You're in focus. Pretty cool. Yeah, that's nice. Isn't it? I like that. Yeah, cool. That's All right. Cool. Nice. All right. So this next shot is going to be a bit more of an artistic shot. Now, I've got a six-stop ND filter on here on the front of my lens. That is enabling me to slow down the shutter speed. So I'm looking at one fortieth, uh, one fiftieth of a second, and I'm going to have Connor leapfrog. You all remember leapfrogs when we were kids. Uh, over this big bin. And I'm gonna try and get low and I'm gonna try and pan and then I'm gonna match, well, I hope I'm gonna try and match Connor's speed. So it's gonna keep him in focus. So it can be a nice pan shot, but also it's gonna blur out the background. So we're gonna really emphasize the movement um, in this shot. Um, it's gonna take a few goes, but hopefully we'll get there and it should turn out pretty good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, okay, mate. Same again? Yeah, of course. Okay. That's not bad. We're getting yeah, there. Yeah, yeah we're getting there. All right. Yeah. yeah. Now this is, this shot demands a lot of patience and a lot of tries. Um, although you may think that just panning is very easy to match and we've just literally got to move our head, term of Connor, you know, it's quite a wide angle lens. There's a lot that's happening in the shot. Um, and you know, it's trying to match Connor to a point where he's focused and the background is blurred. At the moment, Connor is still too blurry for my liking. It's it's getting better, but it's not the final shot yet. Well, that was a great technique to try. Um, slightly different by sticking the six stop on the front of the lens. I'm stopping down the light coming in. Um, so I was getting about 120th to 150th a second, and we had Connor leapfrogging over the bin um, and just trying to match his speed so he was kept sharp while the background was blurred and now we're going to go to our next location which is the skate park just a couple of miles down the road to meet up with our next athlete